Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make two redstone launchers. So this first one launches you and not TNT, but they both use TNT. So you want to place a square of three dispensers and then an oak fence in the middle of them. And then put a button on any single one. You know, it doesn't matter which one. I recommend doing a middle one of any side. So I just remembered we also need oak planks. So, or just any block. So you're gonna place this on the corner. And don't worry, when you launch it, nothing explodes. So now what you want to do is you wanna get your redstone dust and put it around the outside. You will see why, although if you're smart, you will know why. And then all you want to do is you want to place water, not on the outside, sorry, that was a mistake by me, on the inside. And you will see why. That's why, that's why it doesn't explode. <clears throat> okay, right. I put the TNT in, which is what you should do. Now I'm going to test it out. Where's the button? There it is. Ready? This is going to go high. Three, two, one. One. Oh my gosh. Gosh, we're still going up. All right, we're coming down now. We're coming down. Jeez, that went high. And um, number two, this is an actual launch in TNT. So you want to click sticky piston, slime block, redstone repeater facing that way. Click it once and then make sure the dispenser's facing up. Put TNT in it and place a button on the side. Still not sure how this works, but you know, it works. And then face the other way, place your redstone repeater. Once again, tap it once. And then get any block you want. I've chosen polished deep slate. And then get a sticky piston and a slime block. Ready, I'm just gonna fire it. Wow, that was underwhelming. So it blew up, anyway. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.